A five-year-old Russian girl is going home for the first time in her young life. Her adoptive parents from Arkansas are ready to bring her to the United States, but other couples have not been so lucky. Here is one of the last adoptions that's being allowed. ABC's Karid Radia has the story now from Moscow. It's a reunion that almost didn't happen. Kendra and Jason Skaggs arrived in Moscow to pick up Paulina, a five-year-old orphan with spina bifida, now their adopted daughter. It's a dream come true. It doesn't quite hit you yet that we have her and she's ours. Paulina is one of the last Russian children to be adopted by Americans, barely escaping Russia's new ban on adoptions to the United States. It went into effect on January 1st, part of Russia's retaliation for a set of human rights sanctions passed by the U.S. last year. Americans have adopted over 60,000 Russian children since the end of the Soviet Union, but Russian officials have pointed to the cases of 19 children reportedly abused by American parents. Meanwhile, ordinary Russians reached out to offer support. One woman gave Kendra and Jason $1,000 to help cover expenses. Another dropped off a pair of warm boots for Paulina. Finally, authorities agreed to allow about 50 children to travel to the U.S., including Paulina. Yet hundreds more adoptions remain stuck. Those families may never see the children again. As she prepared to leave Moscow, Paulina was excited, practicing her English Hello. and playing with her new gifts. She's learning that it's forever and we'll be there when she goes to sleep and we'll be there when she wakes up. And when the plane touched down in Houston, Paulina Skaggs was finally home. Kirit Radia, ABC News, Moscow. And good to see that story, but keep in mind, hundreds of cases are still locked up, not moving anywhere, even cases where parents have already met the child. Now, some parents are looking into some kind of, uh, of legal action or some kind of next step to try to fight this, but certainly an uphill battle on what's already pretty that's emotionally hard, traumatic situation. Because you connect with the child and then you have to leave them behind. Exactly. That's hard. Tough, tough, mm -hmm. tough, tough.